Welcome back. So we've pretty much made it through the uh, difficult part of the electromagnetism uh, section of this course, uh, but we do have one more section to cover about electromagnetic radiation. So to start with this, uh, we want to talk about uh, alternating current because we are interested in waves with uh, electromagnetism. So uh, before we have discussed simple circuits and we have attached batteries with constant voltages to those circuits. When we did that, as uh, seen here, uh, we have a constant voltage, uh, so our battery just produces a constant voltage, and that causes a current to run through the resistor. So in this case, it's a, a light bulb in the figure. Uh, so that's what's known as direct current, uh, because it produces a constant flow of current uh, through the resistor. But now we want to talk about a different type of circuit, where we have a, a different type of voltage source. So this per, uh, picture shows a voltage source with a squiggly line, that means that the voltage source is alternating. Uh, the, vol the voltage changes with time, and since the uh, voltage changes, the current will also change with time, too. That is why this is usually called an AC circuit for an alternating current. So uh, the changing voltage uh, results in a changing current uh, that uh, increases and decreases. The voltage is uh, like a sine wave, where it is oscillating between positive and negative, and the current will also oscillate, since from Ohm's law we know that uh, the voltage is equal to uh, IR, and the resistance is a constant. The uh, alternating current is uh, the kind that we have in the plugs in our homes, so if you were to uh, plug a light bulb into an AC line, the voltage and the current would be alternating back and forth rapidly, and the light bulb would be flickering on and off very quickly. If we looked at our light bulbs, uh, we wouldn't notice that it is flickering because the oscillation uh, will cause the light bulb to turn on and off about 120 times per second, so it is too uh, fast for our eyes to see, but it is happening. So we could uh, think of this uh, as having placed a, a battery in our circuit, and then we have just changed the direction of the battery back and forth really quickly. So to start with, our positive side of our battery is pointing up, so the current will then go clockwise around the circuit. But then as we flip the battery, the uh, positive side will be uh, pointing down, the voltage will quickly decrease, it will go through zero, and then the current will be going counterclockwise. Then we flip the battery again, and the voltage goes through zero, and it starts going uh, clockwise again. So we can show that the uh, voltage in our graph, uh, as shown here on the right, as it uh, oscillates uh, back and forth. If we want to show the voltage mathematically, we take the uh, maximum voltage and multiply it by the sine of omega t, where t is time, and omega, the uh, Greek letter that looks like a w, is the frequency. So the uh, larger the omega, the more rapidly the uh, voltage oscillates as a function of time. If we want to see the uh, current, uh, it will be the same. The current will be the maximum current times the sine of omega times time. So if you're visualizing this in direct current, the current flows around like a water through a pipe, but in alternating current, the current is sort of oscillating back and forth. It flows clockwise for a split second, then it uh, travels counterclockwise for a split second. So it's kind of like an agitator or something in your washing machine or something like that. So we are doing a bunch of work as we're uh, pushing the current through, but you notice that this uh, we're switching the directions all the time. This brings up a problem. Uh, what is the average current or the average voltage? Well, let's start with uh, current. If we take the average of the current, uh, I times sine omega t, half the time the current is clockwise, and half the time it is counterclockwise. So if we just took the average, it would be zero. Uh, but that's pretty useless, because we are clearly having the current do quite a bit of work. So we want to ignore the direction of the current and just look at the magnitude. So one way to do that is to square the current. That means the uh, current squared is always positive, so uh, we uh, square it, and now we see the, uh, essentially the absolute value. The sign doesn't matter when you square it. It always comes out uh, positive. Next, to get the average value of the current, we take uh, half the value of the maximum current, and that gives us an estimate of the uh, average current. But uh, we don't want the uh, square of the current. Uh, we want the current. So we take the square root of the uh, current squared. So that will be the uh, maximum current uh, divided by the square root of 2. The concept here is that we are taking the mean value of the square of the current and then taking the square root, or that's called uh, taking the root mean squared of the current. Uh, this works the same for voltage, so the root mean square of the voltage is the maximum voltage divided by the square root of 2. But the core concept is that we want to find the measure of the average magnitude of a wave function so we can't just take the mean, because that mean will be zero. We have to 
take the mean of the square of the voltage and then take the square root to get a uh, reasonable value. So that means that the maximum voltage uh, is larger than the root mean square by a factor of the square root of 2. Okay, you have a question to do here, and uh, next we're going to look at producing electromagnetic waves. Good luck.